Hey everybody, we're gonna just go over a quick metronome tip today. This is something that's really useful for some people who don't like the default metronome sound. Uh, the metronome itself is just an instrument on a track that the, the system sends the data to. You can actually come in here uh, to project settings under metronome and see all the settings for this. We have the auto click, or the audio click rather, which is the Klopgeist. It's the instrument uh, that gets loaded up and we can do bar, group, beat or division, different notes, different velocities, to change the tone or volume. Uh, we can even set it to a different output here. Very useful, uh, but we also can do a MIDI click. So if you have an external setup with a, a lot of external sound devices, you can send out MIDI click down uh, one of your MIDI ports and do that. But a good combination or, or something different than either of those is just to load up a different instrument inside Logic. In the mixer, if we go to all on our tracks, we can see our single signal flow for a track. We can see all of our basic tracks. If we click on all, this actually opens up a few more. It opens up the preview track and we have here our normal track for the click. Now, right now I've actually already made the switch, but uh, this is where we can actually come through. You'll see Klopgeist right here. This is the default for this. But I switched this to a drum kit designer. And so now I've got a drum kit loaded up as my metronome sound, which is really cool because now when I push or turn on the metronome and push play, we can change some stuff. Let's come back in here to our settings where this was set up under metronome and let's turn off group. So here's the basic bar beat. We can make it a little softer if we want to. If we turn off polyphonic, then it's going to just do the top one and as the other ones come in, it won't play them simultaneously. Division. And so now this is my click track. Uh, it's not using up uh, one of my other spots there and I can turn it off just by turning off the metronome or we can turn it on. It's a great way to be able to change up the sound and add something a little bit more acoustic or natural. We can go with uh, an electric drum kit um, or you know some sort of other rhythm sound that we want. It's really up to us at this point. We just have to load it into this track that's where that MIDI is going to be going. And then it just hangs out in the background and we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I hope this was useful or interesting for some of you to see how we can do a little bit with the click track. Uh, one other interesting possibility that's going to be happening now with the new Silicon is as we load up different uh, instruments from iOS, those show up um, as an external option as well. So for instance, um, I don't have a good rhythm one loaded right now, but um, the Model 15 can do rhythm sounds. And let's come in here to our project settings under metronome. And then under ports, you'll see Model 15 shows up now. and I can send MIDI data directly to that for our click. And we'll hear it over whatever sound card it is using. Okay. Lots of options, uh, maybe too many, and we certainly, I don't even know if we went over everything, but I think we went over enough to give you an idea of some of the possibilities. Hope you're having a great week, and we'll do another video soon.